All right, so now here we are in Lumion at this is, you know, this is kind of the getting started screen. So these are some of the blank scenarios that you can start with. But uh, we're actually going to go with our beach house uh, example model. So we were working off of the SketchUp 101 beach house. And now we'll use our Lumion beach house example model and import those beach girls into the, the scene. And so uh, the, the tricky thing here, or not so much tricky, it's just what you have to do in Lumion is you need to, to import the model and make the uh, texture or the, the image that's applied to that surface, it needs to be what's called a billboard in Lumion. So let's check it out. So I'll just kind of scoot over here, navigate around, and we're going to set up our scene so that uh, we're going to put the girls on the beach here. All right, so all I need to do is go over to my Objects tab, which is this uh, you know bottom button over here on the, the left menu. And then I need to click on this disk for my Import menu. And then I need to click on this folder to add a new model. So I'll click on that. And then I'm going to navigate to my drop do, uh, Dropbox Brightman Des uh, oops, Dropbox Resources Components. And we're going to go with our people. And we have 2D photo real people. So this is the one that we just created. And I'll choose open. So then here's the name people 2D girl number two. Say OK. So and then that model comes in, I click to place her. So you see what's happening here is that, you know, she's like this flat surface that just kind of stands there. Um, so what we need to do is make the image into what's called a billboard. So to do that, all I need to do is go over to my materials tab and then click once on the girl and then select right here from our, our custom presets. It's called billboard. And when I click on that now, uh, I've, I've set that up so now to finish the operation I need to click on save and now when I orbit around her she's gonna kind of always face the camera just like a face me component in SketchUp so that is how you create these uh, 2d photorealistic people for use in Lumion so we can add another one so I'll go to my objects add a new model and let's grab the other girl there say okay and we'll set her kind of right down here same deal, I need to just go to my materials, click once on the image, and then click on billboard. And now she's going to kind of orbit around, and uh, both of them will now. So we're good to go. So that's you know pretty, pretty uh, straightforward, easy process. And at this point now, I can go and uh, we'll say OK or save to, to finish that operation. And then let's check out some of the uh, still images that have already been set up. So we've got like one down here on the beach. So now we've got them out there. Um, that one's kind of cool. Maybe I'll I'll scoot forward a bit and then lower myself just a little there. Sweet, looks good. So we'll update our camera just like that, and now we can render this out. So um, you know maybe I guess I, my view I want to you know get more of our uh, 2D people in there so we can really see the difference it's making. So we'll render this at a high res like 3840 by 2160. I'm going to throw this in my desktop temp folder and call it image number one and hit save and let's just see how that looks. So now that renders out and uh, Lumion renders extremely quickly. It's what we love about it and uh, that'll look pretty good. 64 passes. We've got a little bit of the um, global illumination happening. So uh, we'll let that go, and just uh, while that's running, just keep in mind that you know, you'll notice that both of these women that we've added to our scene here are, are cut out photos, and the pictures uh, from which they were cut out were taken outside. So you really want to pay attention to the lighting of you know, the 2D entourage when you're placing them, because if you place like these girls in an a office setting, uh, not only are their clothes kind of out of place, but the, the sunlight and the intense lighting just doesn't quite uh, look right. So you really want to make sure that you're using uh, people that have been lit properly, whether inside or outside. Um, you know, just pay attention to that stuff. And, you know, they do a good job on, on all of those different websites to uh, provide plenty of options for that. So uh, also, you know, in the foreground, I keep the higher res 2D people. And then in the background, we've got our 3D people. So um, I just find that the 3D people, if you're, you're trying to get that more photorealistic effect, it's better to use the 2D people. Um, let's look at our image. So I'll go to my temp folder, and I've got image number one. So there it is. So kind of blends in pretty nice. Looks good. And uh, 
pretty easy. Now the other thing about uh, importing these into Lumion is if I now go over into my objects tab and this is on my import collection so all of your other collections are here but our import collection uh, we can go and look at the objects so anytime you import a, any any 3D model, SketchUp, DWG, or, uh, whatever, uh, Collada files, whatever you import, they show up here. So sometimes this does get a little bit polluted, but it's kind of nice if you name your, uh, your components. See how I named mine prefixed with people? Well, all I have to do is just type in here people, and now I can just go in and, and start grabbing all the, the, the different 2D cutouts. Uh, you can also add them to your stars. Uh, your favorites collection and, and access them that way. So there's a couple different ways of organizing these these imports. All right. So I mentioned too that uh, when I was over here at, uh, let's see, which one? F uh, Viz People's Free Stuff, they've got free music as well. So I thought uh, while we're at it, let's, uh, let's download the free music that they offer. And uh, in Lumion, let's go over here and to our timeline and take a look at our movie and let's add uh, a soundtrack to our movie. So right now, this is the entire timeline. It goes outside, inside, um, and then yeah, they, actually the, the cutouts look pretty decent in this animation, not too bad. Uh, all right, so then what we wanna do is add an effect to the timeline. Now keep in mind, you can add an effect to a clip. So if I click on one of these clips, I can go add an effect that is only going to affect that one clip. Now, if I click on entire movie, when I add an effect, it's going to apply it to the entire movie. So I need to add a new effect, and the effect that we're going to add is under the Objects tab called Sound. So I'll add that. Now, I can choose the file, so I'll click on that. We'll go to our uh, Dropbox, Resources, and then I made a new folder called Music. And then this is where I, I uh, extracted all these free songs out. And so, you know, they're, they're free music. And I'm, I uh, double check on all the, you know, the rights and everything because I was kind of uh, speeding through when I was looking at these, you know, before you use them commercially. But uh, it's always a good idea to buy music, too. I mean, these guys are often up a few, a few samples. But um, it's, if you listen to their other tracks, they're great. And it's worth it. Um, they're pretty well priced, too. So uh, time is now. We'll just go with the entire track. And let's see, what are these? Um, uh, we'll go with the full one, and we'll say open. All right, so now we've added that to our timeline. I'll click on play. And so um, actually, in order to hear this, I think what I need to do, you can listen to it here. But let me go to my settings. And we want to turn on, let's see, muting our sound. That's not what we want. OK, so maybe it just doesn't play. Um, we just test it here. If you hover on this, it'll play. Pretty cool. So uh, that's how you can really start to dial up your presentations and um, you know get some royalty free or uh, I'm sorry, some some free resources between the 2D cutout people, um, the the tracks, the soundtracks to add to your movies, and just start you know polishing these presentations. So, anyways, hope you uh, hope this helps. You know the point is to expand your uh, your object library. This is a good way to do it. So uh, let me know if it helps, and uh, best of luck uh, with the renderings out there. We'll talk to you soon.